all right in last lecture we established the link between the activities uh, with activities or group of activities uh, to make the Microsoft project calculate the duration we need to enter the man hours for each activity so let's add uh, one column behind the successor column and find the work column here let's uh, add one column here insert column let's add the work columns we will enter the man hours or machine hours in this column okay let's know about man hours let's say for a king sized bed we need uh, two workers for three days uh, let's say they work nine hours in one day so the total work hours for the king size bed is 2 into 9 to 9 into 3 is equal to uh, 54 hours that is which is 54 man hours so in terms of machine we write we put the machine hours and in terms of um, manpower we write the man hours let's enter the amount of man hours and machine hours of the activities in our project let's say in general uh, is work hours uh, let's say uh, for site excavation of uh, p block we need uh, 45 working hours and just like uh, 45 sorry 45 45 hours and for ass block also 45 Now you can see the excavation work is total of 90 hours that is uh, 45 hours of X block and 45 hours of P block. You can see 90 hours here total hours. Yeah. Mm, let's say we need 900 working hours for foundation concrete works. Uh, foundation concrete works let's say uh, we put like 900 hours. Uh, and for level one concrete uh, let's put 1800 hours and for level two also let's say 1800 hours let's say we need 684 hours for uh, its floor walls so let's put for plaster and painting we put 540 hours five hundred and forty hours for plaster for painting we put uh, 540 hours two hundred sixty one hours for doors two hundred sixty one hours two hundred sixty one hours and two hundred sixty one hours and for roof construction uh, let's say like 441 hours
so concrete works and foundation is uh, 900 per 900 hours 1800 for level 1 1800 for level 2 uh, for construction of wall mm. 684 man hours 684 man hours plastering works 540 540 painting works 540 540 for doors and windows mm. 261 level 1 level 2 261 for roofing mm. 241 for roofing 241 for roofing so backfilling is 234 hours and 234 hours yeah so now we are done with the working hours but we can't see the total working hours for our project so to do that we need to make summary tasks visible uh, to do th do that we go to file go to options just wait and go to advanced options just scroll down click on click here so project summary tax all right and click on ok So we have a total duration of 28 days a total working hours is 18,540 hours and we have the start date and we have the finish date so this is the way we enter the man hours and machine hours in the microsoft project all right thanks for watching see you in the next video